Then I'll just go. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, now, from the beginning. <laughs> They, you will notice something, <laughs> but you won't care. That's what. Or? <laughs> just, just, just. <laughs> I've it's never, nice. I've never ridden a Bianchi before. It's really nice, actually. It is. Yeah, really, really happy with it. I guess I feel like uh, the episode I've watched, you, you have so many new I bikes. I think nearly every episode I'm on a different one, but yeah, yeah. Sigum Sports is a bike shop, so yeah, so it makes sense. I get to try all the nice new bikes. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. it's. Oh. <laughs> Oh, looking good. Mm -hmm. You do that at the start of a race. You yeah. put it and you, you have to find. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. <laughs> so, this is where it all began. It is. Cecilia. Yeah, it was. Uh, they had 90th birthday. So, they invited N people. 90th? Yeah, 90. Wow. 90. Oh, 1918. They invited people to come down and uh, have a look. And I also think, you know, to get more members. So, how you old know? were you when you came down? 12. Okay. Around 12. Right, okay. So, yeah. I came down and, you know, I still remember uh, the guy who, you know, in, I don't know, welcomed me in the club and, you know, he, I still remember, you know, he had a smell of uh, cheese, like he has just been eating <laughs> <a> cheese. <laughs> that is uh, some memory. Yeah, I mean, and I still remember, you know, like, well, hi, oh, you smell, but, <laughs> but it was, it was like that guy, Yeah. he's still one of my, you know, closest, friends. like he's, um, he's a bonus dad. Yeah. So. Big question though, does he smell, does he smell of cheese still? No. No, no, that no, cheese no, no. Is gone. I, uh, yeah, because I told him. <laughs> I told him. Nice place to start the ride anyway. It is. Lots of good memories. Lots of, so, mm -hmm. well, and we're going to do a bit of a, a bit of a tour around Copenhagen and the outskirts. I'm really excited about where we're going today, so. We are. It's really a tour of Copenhagen today. Brilliant. Okay. Um, and you're my guide. Yes. It's not bad, is it? Uh, it's it's going to be cool. Uh, good lots stuff. of good stuff to see and... Uh, Lots of good uh, places that we're going to. And a, some coffee at the end. Oh, of course. Oh, oh, the city's best coffee, so. Good. Let's get a move on then. Mm. Twenty degrees. It, exactly. It's riding short, short. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then you get here, and then you just put layers, layers, layers. You're like an onion. <laughs> like an onion. <laughs> never heard that before. But yeah, first stop. Bit of a strange stop. I've, I've never. <laughs> In my long, long time riding a bike, apart from being in hospitals, I've never stopped to one on a ride <laughs> just to have a look at it. <laughs> no. So, so the, you're a resident of Herlev, and this is Herlev Hospital we're coming yes. up. Yes. Oh, there, there it is. Look at that. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's the tallest, as you know, building in the whole of Denmark. Incredible. The tallest I mean, building unbelievable, in the and it's from Herlev. I know. Where I come from. Yeah. Uh. But also, get this. It's the eighth tallest hospital in the world. Holy yeah. moly. Look at that. I mean, were you, I mean, you're obviously a resident, you lived in Hurl of all your life. Mm. Is this, this is where your life started, was it? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh. unfortunately not. I'm really sorry. All right, should we go then? Yeah. <laughs> Remember the first time, you know, you click in the pedals and you know, when you start, I still, you know, I still can't click in, no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are the memories that you remember most, you know, from your cycling time? Uh, good or bad? They're all good. A lot of memories of when I was young and just riding in the in the club like you. I, my my dad said there's this club you want to join, so I went to a bike shop, got a leaflet, went to the club night. Went out on, my, on, on the bikes with him, and just the fun we had. Just the, like 20 of us out on the weekend, Saturday and a Sunday. Then I started racing. And that, that time when I was 17, 18, was amazing. It was just, like you said, uh, so much fun. And, uh, and that really, has set, and that's why I'm here talking to you today. Think about it, it's like, it's just amazing, really. Oh, we're here. Yeah, actually here. Wow. Here we are. Thanks, thanks for not half-wheeling me <laughs> too much. 
I, I, I would say that too. Yeah, oh, good. Well, there we go. <laughs> so we're here at Little Mermaid. And that's a, that's a quite big one for us Danish people, you know? Oh, you tell all about that. Well, yeah, Hans, Hans Christian Andersen. Uh, it's it's made, of, made of bronze and it was placed here in 1913 and is of course one of the biggest tourist attractions in Copenhagen and it weighs 175 kilograms. Quite a lot. Didn't, she's that's a heavy all lady. in my head. This, she's, a, she's a heavy <laughs> lady. It's uh, nice here though, isn't it? It it's is fresh, nice. But and, and you know she, she's been transformed quite a lot of times. You know, yes. people have caught up her head yeah. many times. It's awful. I mean, it's why would you do that? I know. It's rude. It's rude and, and wrong. And she's also been painted. Do you know what? Then look at her. She, she, one of the guys, I remember one of the guys caught up her head and then, you know, she was without head. And then she, he felt so bad, so he, he, he turned himself in to the police and gave the head back. Oh, so there's, there's some absolute golden nuggets <laughs> so far of, of, of trivia on this I trip, mean, but we've still got a fair way to go. Imagine him cutting over here and be like, oh shit, I feel so bad, I cut it. Here, I'm fair sorry, enough. I mean, cough me. Just point to her. Just like there. <laughs> I'm so. gonna, to be, I'm just, can we go and get a coffee? Yeah, we should. <laughs> Let's maybe take the bikes. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Woo. I like that you just go shit. <laughs> and in front of you, the queen lives. Oh, the queen. So this is the oh, queen's no, no, house. No, no, no. We are already here. So what's, what's the queen's name? Margrethe. Margaret. Margaret. Oh, look, look. They're here for us. Isn't it nice? It's some sort of pageantry, military type thing with drums and big hats going on. And uh, the Queen, I believe, is in. Uh, Sile called her earlier, texted her, said, yeah, come on by and just watch watch the marching. <laughs> right then, next stop. <laughs> Here we go. Cheers, Margaret. Thank you. You know, you know what the funny thing is? But every time that we do something like big or, you know, like, then we are, we Danish are so proud of it. Like, so <laughs> like Lego. Have you? Oh, I'm such a big fan of Lego. <laughs> Me too. I mean, really, if we come and do part two one day, we've got a we've got a Lego land. Uh, we've got to go to Lego yes. land. Double riding on a scooter. <laughs> Blimey. In front of us, um, the politicians are. Oh, the parliament is that the parliament? Yeah, the yeah. parliament. Yeah, okay. the government. And I really also, yeah, I like the the style of building. Yeah, it's like a classic, yeah. classical yeah. style, isn't it? It's, it's, it's a lovely city. And they really preserved, you know, yeah. like lots of that, and which gives a lot of charm to the city. Well, what's your what's your first race? Uh, it's going to be Omlovet Newsblad in Belgium. Which is going to probably be like this. <laughs> yeah, so I need to get used to so it. So this huh? is basically, the, this is what your face is going to feel like. <laughs> but doing another 40k an hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, I do like it. Like I do like racing in those tough conditions. You know, I, I'm from Denmark, so it's a little tiny part of me is Viking, of you course, know? Of course. And I like when, when things get tough and I like when, you know, it's just about well, hanging in, surviving. Well, if you look at all of your perfor your best performances in, in races, your wins and also your important podiums, they've been in attritional races, haven't they? You know, because the funny thing is that when you get to a start line and it's pouring down, yeah. you know, half of the peloton is already defeated yeah yeah i know you're right and then i'm like <laughs> you know i don't know but you know you need to get energy out of that you know like i mean you take it's not the, the weather's not gonna bring me down so we're here this is a kind of don't yes. know whether we call it a special place for you Sile, but this is where you used to work isn't it this it is, is your, your supermarket <laughs> three three to four years ago yeah 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 i mean yeah, it was tough, tough days, and yeah, like we, we said, you needed to work here in the mornings and get get off at four or five, and then get home and then train while it was dark. But uh, yeah, but you know, it was just like like I didn't think too much about yeah. it. Like that just, was just the way it was. You just, you just get on with it, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, to see late, it's a bit of a challenge. Have you heard of the program Supermarket Sweep? I don't know, maybe. Tell me a bit more. Well, supermarket sweep is when you go into a supermarket and fill your trolley <gasps> full of stuff in one minute. Going for expensive imported cheeses. But we're not going to do that. We're going to do a more cerebral uh -huh. thinking person super, supermarket sweep. So what I'd like you to do 
is going to the store, you have 80 krona budget okay. to buy only three things that best represent your personality. <laughs> <laughs> what a good challenge! I like and I, that. And I'm going to do the same. Okay, okay. And uh, yeah, we're going to do it in five minutes. Doesn't matter what they are. They could be just three pieces of fruit or three potatoes. It doesn't matter. <laughs> if you think three potatoes is going to represent you, <laughs> then, buy, then get them. Okay. And you also have some change and we'll keep the budget down. <laughs> So, I think a lot of the best ideas come over a pizza and a beer. <laughs> <laughs> or in the toilet. And the toilet. <laughs> right? Yeah. You sat there when thinking. When you said the exact time on your phone, it's like, yeah. <laughs> so, three, two, one. Go. I see you. Kim's lost the box. I'm looking for the green gold. Um, going down the ketchup aisle. I could take champagne. Cool. Pizza, 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 pizza. I love pizza. Oh, I also like white wine. Shit, I need, I need Fanta. I do like soup. Really, really struggling. <laughs> My favorite. But our dime bars. Dime bars are Swedish. Uh, we're in Denmark. <laughs> oh my god. Other brands are available, but uh, oh, these are nice. I think I've got my three things. <gasps> Lego, that's also a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Could you see that? You go first. Okay. Okay, we'll start with Fanta. You know, it is my beloved drink. It's a Fanta. Um, and I was on the pressure, so it's a zero sugar one. So, you so it's really you'd be, shitty. You normally get the full fat. Ah, uh, yes. I mean, you need, huh? Yeah. This is me. I mean, I love it after a race, you know. And you're quite fizzy, aren't you, as well? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> next is dark chocolate. And Lint, one of the, I mean, mm. let's be honest, one of the premium brands of chocolate yeah. in the world. Yummy, yummy. Why does it represent you? Because you're a chocolatey personality? Or are you just like chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Next up is, is this faithful avocado. The green gold. Green gold. On everything. Right. I, I eat it, I could eat it every day. Thank and you. it's just good. Like, it's just. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> it just keeps making me laugh. <laughs> You gotta judge mine now. Okay. So, Kim's Osterpotten. <laughs> <laughs> now, first, first and foremost, they don't sell these in Britain. I've never seen them before. I was looking for Doritos or Pringles, and again, I, I saw these on one of those big, kind of almost like a buy one, get one free aisle. Yeah. And they just spoke to me. And you, need to, you need to say it in Danish. Osterpops. Kim's Osterpops. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. the pot ops the pot the key. Is that a bit? No, that's a bit. Okay, sorry. Like Dutch. Oh, 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 say it again. Oster pops. Oster pops. That's so, a good there one. There we go. HP sauce. I've never tried. It's it. basically, it's something you have on like fish and chips, bacon sandwich. It's like fish and chips. No, we have chips. Oh no, controversial. <laughs> For years, up to about five, six years ago, I didn't know what the HP stands for. Uh. But I'm from London, and it stands for Houses of Parliament. And there's the Houses of Parliament, it's Big Ben. So it's Houses of Parliament Brown Sauce. And what we're going to do now, just a tiny bit on your finger. But have it with cheese, have it mm. with meat. And it's kind of got a kind of tang to it. But that, that's because it's, it's kind of a London kind of... British institution. Like uh, and next up, good one. this is going on. This is like a show in itself. <laughs> this is Har Har Haribo. Haribo, yes. Haribo. Never seen this 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 this, this flavour. So basically, all we just chose food because mm. us cyclists love grub, don't we? Food. Mm. Very winner. I like it. Yeah. Mm. There you go. <laughs> yes. What a section that was. Funny thing is, when you haven't been eating, everything also tastes good. I'm not saying this is not good. No, it's the point. 
But sometimes, you know, then when you're so hungry, you're like, oh my God, this is so good. But it could be very average. I know. But, yeah, a good ride as well. And yeah. I think then we deserve it, right? Mm. That is what I love about, one well, of the many things I like about cycling is the eating afterwards, the warm afterglow of a training ride, whether it's at home, sitting there, shower, then you sit down in front of the TV or whatever, and you, your body just feels like, like it's glowing, doesn't it? And you can eat, and it's the best thing. It is. I think it's also part of the job to, you know, think a bit about what you put, because at the end it is fuel, oh, yeah. you know? So, I think, but I do love, I do like fast food. It's but no, just, it's just a treat, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, sometimes. I mean, and that's also the important part of it, you know, that you, you need to be it. able to treat yourself. Like, because everything... What, what would life be like? I know. If you couldn't treat yourself. No, and it is about that, you know? Yeah. It is about, we talked about it also before, but keeping that brain happy, keeping that, you know, because of course you need to be serious and of course you need to eat good food, healthy food. But on the other hand, it's also important to take a glass of wine, to go out and if you wanted that burger so bad, uh, treat Do it. yourself. Yeah. yeah. It's just not an everyday thing, but do it. Do you? That's really, that's really interesting because I well, think there's quite a lot of young athletes, not just in cycling, but in elite sport, who are put under an immense amount of pressure. And I think what can happen, and I've seen it happen to young kids, is that the whole pleasure of the sport that, that they're doing is kind of just squeezed out of them. You know, because sport is tough, but ultimately it's fun and, and, it's, and it's, it should be pleasure. We should be able to reflect on it kind of with fondness, not with like, oh my God, I just, so many kids get put off by too much pressure being applied. And the pressure isn't just from parents or coaches. It's like, no, no, you can't ever have a day off. You can't eat junk food. You can't do this. Like I said, balance is so important. And it is a bit of a pity sometimes when I see these youngsters, you know, coming up and they're training so hard and they're being so disciplined and, yeah. and then they lose the fun yeah. of, because sport and should be fun. Like it should be because you, you have a passion for it. It's fun to go yeah. out. And when you are that young, also remember to sometimes, you know, sprint for that um, village um, the sign. Yeah, yeah. sign. Like do that and bring, yeah, yeah. bring in some fun in it. Yeah, yeah. And and yes, of course it needs to be disciplined. But times, you know, time for discipline, time for fun. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. Your results aside, one of the reasons that you've become so well known within within cycling is your personality. Like you are a great to be around. You're you're funny. You've always got something insightful to say. Where do you looking at your parents, grandparents, brother? Where do you think you get that from? Because it is, it's it's pretty amazing, really. Not to kind of you know, it's that you are a, you, you kind of do stand out, you know, as well as your results and your your, your potential. Your you got a big future, but in my in my eyes, but where do you think you get this kind of this kind of this drive and this, and you're kind of like hyper. You are like up here all the time, and it's, it's fascinating. We've been we've been with you like four or five hours now. And you're just like on it. Going up. It's we just, had a coffee as well. We huh? have had two. You know? Is this two? Yeah, then we had one. This second coffee. Mm. But even before the coffees, when do you get time to relax? Do you have an off switch? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. No, but it's a, it's I'd admit that in the nicest way, but do you know what I mean? Because we're all different, and we all have this veneer of a personality. I like to think you get what you see with me. Um, but we all but have our kind of same, private space. I am, but you are the same. I mean, we're we're two of the. We are made out of the same material. No, I think it's just the way I am. Okay. And I am. I mean, if you get to know me, I am a bit of a crazy banana. Okay. But a crazy banana. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, there's no there's no member of your family. You can, yeah, I'm like my granddad or my grandma. But my mom is also mom. a bit. Uh, is she? Okay. But you know, in a funny way. She's, right. Okay. She's a funny lady. But you know. I'd rather be a bit crazy and a bit funny than boring. Yeah. I mean, we were, before we did our, our kind of reverse supermarket sweep, which I'm glad you enjoyed. Which Great choices, so, by the way. So funny. And by the way, you can have that avocado. Uh, if you just tag Sigma Sports, say thanks for the avocado. <laughs> thanks for the low fat uh, Fanta. And, yeah. and thanks for the chocolate. Thanks for the chocolate, because that is high end chocolate. That's high end. But we do appreciate you going under budget for us. Mm. That means we can put that money towards another cafe, right? Thank you. So much for going on the budget.
But uh, I forgot what I was going to say now because I just waffled on. I go off on all these stupid tangents and forget what the point I've actually forgotten. People aren't going to notice that, huh? Yeah, the world is fine. It's fine. It's, uh, it's like we changed the mic. Yeah, it's, but you it's won't strongly. notice I... anything. They say, oh, they you will notice something, <laughs> but you won't care. That's what or. <laughs> 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 Big, big change. We've got, we got the, the logo on there, the UCI Women's World Team. We've got the world team status for eight teams now in the women's peloton. You're one of the big teams now, big step up, which means certain things for women within those teams, minimum wages, etc. etc. We are in a far better place. We're patterning quite in quite depth out on the bike, but there's still a long way to go. How do you kind of perceive women's cycling right now? I mean, giving it a label, I know we kind of struggle with it. Should be just cycling, shouldn't it? Mm, I mean, this you're is a woman, you're cycling, and you've got women's world, world team, team there. But this is something I could talk about for hours. And I mean, it's, it is my passion and yeah. it is, at the moment we, we are, it's, a, it's good, like we are progressing. Yeah. It is going in the right direction. Yeah. We're getting world tour teams, meaning m minimum salaries. Yep. With that said, there's still a lo long way to go. You said <laughs> when you were coming through the ranks of your, of your cycling team as an amateur, and you were like, had your sights set on being a professional, a few people said to you, what do you want to do that for? You must just go and get a profession. Never, get, never going to earn any money. In the beginning, it was like oh, cycling for women. Yeah. Don't, don't bother. And then, yeah, like I'm going to show you that maybe it's only ten women who can live off cycling, but I want to be one of those ten. And I, uh, and I know I, I need to work freaking hard for it and I know that sometimes you need a bit of luck here yeah. and a bit yeah but you know I <laughs> I kept on and even you know you get a lot of punches because as a as a woman you go from junior and then you uh, directly jump into the elite There's no under 23 is There's there no at the moment they're thinking about that aren't they so you jump from riding 70ks to the next year it's a ride, big there's a big goal yeah, 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 yeah. and um, and you know that transition period period is also quite hard because yeah. you know you I didn't get through all the races I started in and you know you get a lot of punches yeah. like in the head and you, you feel like man am I this shit at cycling yeah. I mean it's not possible and you know but then you need to keep on believing and keep on yeah having some faith when you need to be patient yeah um, because it will come. Yeah. I mean, but you know, having that U23 category as the men have, you know, where they can get a bit of success, you know, and I think that's also um, why we l lost and maybe still loses a lot of yeah. women. I think, I think you're 100% right. Because you get, you, you know. Not everybody has the resilience to kind of make that transition. Yeah. If you, you, I mean, and, and let's be honest, you're 18. And, and really, although it, there's, there are a few exceptions of riders who, who are amazing at 19, 20, 21, that isn't the norm. Generally, it's 22, 23 before you get that kind of strength and before your bodies, you know, both male and female, are kind of fully kind of <laughs> formed and fleshed out. Yeah. And so that's why the under 23 category is formed for the men. Mm -hmm. and, um, and as the women's scene is getting better and better and there's more and more you know, competitors, the time is kind of ripe now for that to, because it, you know, the UCI owe it to women cycling, otherwise you are going to lose a lot of women that potentially could have gone to better things as well. I know. owe it to that generation of cyclists. Yes, really. yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Cycling, if cycling is a cake, as you said, it should be just one big cake, shouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, it should be. One big cake. And we cake. all get a fair set or of a slices. Big, or a big cake table. I mean, it doesn't need to be one big what, cake, like but just many sponges cakes. Sponges and other like smaller cakes yeah. on it, like pastries, yes. it, but lots of different, yes. like a cake world. Yeah, a cake world. Of cycling. Yeah. What's the, what's the, what's the one race or a couple? that you get really, really fired up about and passionate about, that you want to read about, that you want to watch if you're not doing it, or you want to be jealous that you're not doing it. What, which one, one day race on, on the calendar? Flanders? Yes. We didn't, we didn't practice yeah. that, did we? we no, didn't we didn't. We didn't that. talk about Actually, it before no, now. I'm yeah. pretty happy. You're pretty happy with that. But so. It's a, so why? T describe okay, to me why. Okay. Uh, I would also, it, it's, a, it's a tough battle. So Flanders, Pretty high, yep. but also Strade Bianche. Oh God, yeah. What an iconic race, yeah. race. I mean, and it's just, I don't know. So what I do, 
really like about these races is, first of all, they're so iconic. There's so many people out on the road yeah. to cheer, to, ah, and that, that's and For those of you that don't know, I'm going to cut across third in, in our last year's Tour of Flanders, just to put it in perspective. Mm. But yeah, but I just love that energy, you know, that, that those have, the, the races have and how many people, you know, because it's just like one big cycling party. Yeah. And especially Flanders, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's especially through. because of the loops and the, the, the Quadramonts and stuff. It's I know, the yeah. Quadramont, the Pattersburg, yeah, you yeah. know, where there's just people standing, rows and rows, <laughs> as the I can see, you know, you're like, there's hundreds and, and hundreds and thousands of people there. And it's just, it smells like, Beer, sausage, <laughs> you know, you're going up there and you can't hear yourself think. It's a you know, because, sound because right? they yeah, have yeah. these cowbells, you know, they ring do 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 and they're screaming, you know, up those pretty freaking iconic. So to get, jump, get on the podium of that race for you, must have been very, I mean, the win's the big one, but to get on the podium, that must have been very, very special. Yeah, it was. It was a very, very special day. Yeah. Um, and also why I love Strade Bianca. You go up in, I mean, especially the finish, yeah. where you go up in Siena, and you just, I mean, because it's the small streets and stuff and people are on the side. That final climb is insanely narrow, isn't it? it and it's it, not just steep, but it's... It, steep, narrow, oh, yeah, yeah. but you know, the people that are there, when they're screaming, because it it's a... Kind of an echo, like an echo chamber, yeah, yeah. It is an echo chamber, so you come and you're just like, woo, 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 woo. And you go up, it's insane. And yeah, and then you, it's just it's so good racing. Do you know what though? Do you know what? It's, this has been an absolute blast. It's been an absolute It has. Is it already pleasure. over? We might have to wrap it up at some point. Otherwise, or we could just book book another hotel and then a later yeah, flight. Yeah, why not? I don't know, because we could just chat, get another coffee in and just eat some, I, I do need maybe another piece of cake. Yeah. But it's been fun. Thanks for showing us around your hood, as it were. And thanks for being so wonderful and have a great season as well. So thanks, man. Thanks it has been me. cool. Thank thanks you. for having me. Then I'll just go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Rock and roll. Thank you You're for welcome. making me look kind of <laughs> Brilliant. It's a wrap.